In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this animated steps presentation in Canva in just a few minutes where you can pull out the different tabs with your own content on it. And you can customize it however you like. And I think it's a really cool way of presenting in Canva. Now, if you want to download this template, I have a link in the description below where you can find the presentation. And I'll break this tutorial down in a few steps. First, we will create the tabs. Then we will create the content. We'll stack them on top of each other and eventually we will animate the slides. And for this tutorial, this is the color scheme that I have used. In the first four colors, these I will use for the different tabs. And then these last two colors I will use for the background, that gradient effect. You have the hex codes here so you can easily copy them or use the color picker as you like. Let's start from a blank slide. First thing you want to do is you want to get that gradient effect on the background. So go to the background color and here we want to choose any gradient here at the bottom. Click on that and then scroll all the way up and choose add new color. This gives us the gradient colors and we want to go for that gradient or that circular gradient. Let's do that. And then we have the blue in the middle. So we want to change the blue color picker and then we want to select that lighter version of the two. Select the pink one or the outline and choose the darker version. This gives us a nice gradient to work with. If the colors don't line up, you can also just change them to or swap them around. Next, we want to look for the tabs. And for that, we're going to press R to get a rectangle on the screen. Put it in the top left corner and drag it to the bottom somewhere around two thirds of the slide in. We're going to press R again for another rectangle. And this one we're going to make a bit smaller. We're going to choose the border style and give it some rounded corners. You can choose if you want it completely rounded. I'm going for somewhere halfway. Let's put it at the 40 mark. This one I'm going to position on the top of the slide. And now I'm going to select the object, hold Ctrl and Shift to create a copy and copy it three more times so that we have four variants. Select them all and position them in the middle. If you want them a bit smaller, you can just group select them and make them a bit smaller. There we go. Now this is the base for the tabs that we're going to make. So if you want four tabs, these are the tabs and this is the main frame. Now what we want to do is we're going to open this show pages, select the tabs and press Ctrl D three times to get four copies. On the first page, we want to have the first tab. So we're going to remove the other three. On the second one, we're going to keep the second tab. On the third one, we're going to keep the third one. And on the fourth, we're keeping the bottom one. Now we're going to group them together. So select both and press group. For the colors, we're going to give it that color scheme. We're going to use the fourth or the darkest color for the bottom tab. And now we're moving upwards. So we're selecting these, group, tab number three. That's going to be the third one. So this is, I'm counting like this, one, two, three. And this is my fourth. For the second one, group, the second lightest. And then for the first one, select them and use the lightest one and group them. This way we have four pages. If I close this and scroll out, you have the four tabs already made and in the color. Now we're going to work on the layout of the tabs. So choose whichever tab you like. I'm going to choose for the darkest one and I'm going to add some text. Click on title and here I'm going to type in 04. Increase it in size. And for the font, I'm using Montserrat and let's see if we can make it black, sub font black. And then we're going to give it a transparency of, let's try 15. So it's very subtle. Now we're going to add some subtitle. So I'm going to use also the title section here and type in some dummy text, lorem ipsum dollar and make it a bit smaller and then place it. I'm going to place it just slightly over the text. You can also place it below it. That really depends on how you want to create it but I kind of like this overlapping effect. Now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to add body text and I'm going to copy some text in. Select text and press Ctrl V. This is just dummy text, nothing special here. Scale it, move the sides. If you want more text, you can duplicate it. That is also perfectly possible. So depending on how much content you have, you can add or remove some text. I'm going to make it increase the text in size, make this one a bit smaller. I think this will look quite good. Now I'm going for the elements tab and here type in icon 
and it could be anything. I'm going for an icon of a plant. Graphics, see all. And select one of the icons. I'm going to make it white and place it in the middle underneath. Maybe make it a bit larger. And then also make it transparent to that 20 mark. I think we took 20, 15. So let's put it on the same, 15. And now we have the content for our slide. So I'm going to select it, click on one of the icons, hold shift and click the other elements. So we have all four and we're going to place them just a bit to the right of the slide so that we have some space here on the left. I'm going to place it just around here. If you're happy, you can group it together, control C and then paste it on the previous slides. The second one and the third one. If the font becomes here, it's quite light, you can always change the colors. So in this case, we can make it a bit darker, give it that darkest color. And also for those, if you want, you can change the color easily if you want the text to be more visible. Same can happen for the other ones. So the first step I'm going to pull out is the fourth one, so the darkest one. And that means I have to call this one 01. This one becomes 02, 03 and 04, that is correct. Maybe it will be nice if we add a little number here. So I'm going to text, title, call it 04. Maybe in this one, we just do four. I think that will be enough that we can make it a bit larger, place it here. And now we're going to do a little trick. So we're going to give it the same color as the next tab. So in this one, I want to go to font colors and give it the color of the next tab that is coming. So that it sort of looks like it's shining through if we overlay them. Control C, go to the next tab, Control V, and then place it here. Again, give it one color darker and change the number to three so it matches with the content. Here we do two and make it one darker again. And then eventually we have one where we give it the darkest color and make it number one. Because it's a gradient, we can always go for that darkest fill. I think this one is the most readable. So now that we have made the tabs, we're going to select all of the content. So both the tab and the content. You can change the text if you want. I'm keeping it like this for the tutorial. Group everything together. So everything acts as one group and repeat that step for the others. Group, also for this one, group, and last one, group as well. Now what I like to do is I like to duplicate this number one slide. So I keep a working file of the others. This is the one, the last one we're going to work with. So we're going to copy each of the grouped items, Control C, Control V, and we place it on the next slide or on the last slide. I'm already going to shift it a little bit to the left and then copy the tree, paste it on here and shift it to the left. And then finally the top one here and also paste that to the left. You want to give it about equal spacing. And here you can see that the number shining through kind of matches nicely with the layer underneath. In this case, I think this is a bit too dark, so I'm going to shift that back to this version. I think that looks better. For the sake of consistency, I'll do it here as well. There we go. So now we have our slide. What I'm going to do is hold Control and scroll backwards, or you can use this toggle switch. Select all of the four grouped items. I'm going to move them slightly downward so we can see the edge of the slide, and move them to the left. Once you're happy with the positioning and the bars are about equal size, I'm going to shift them back upwards. And this now gives us quite a cool slide to work with. Now we no longer need those slides, but you can keep them hidden or you can remove them if you want. And we're going to work with this final slide. I'm going to add some text to the page and let's call this steps, effects, and add some lift. This way it stands out from the background. And I'm going to create a copy and call this one animated. For the font, I need something different. So I'm going for a written font and a very bright and contrasting color. Maybe this one, the yellow will be good. I think the font, we can do something different. And let's maybe look for one of the different style fonts. I think there's a calligraphy or brush. I think brush will do. And then for the brush, I think regular brush, this looks quite good. I'm going to make it smaller and then place it on top. So we have animated steps and increase it just a bit in size. There we go. What we can do is we can send this to the back. So go to position, layers, and send this all the way to the back. I have one loose element here. So I want to group that together with the tab. So I'm going to select both, 
and then just press the group button here. This way we have four tabs to work with and two text boxes and the background, of course. This is what we have. Now we're going to duplicate that slide. So you press Ctrl D and then on the first element or the first copy, you want to drag out the first slide. You can, you can decide how far you pull it out, but I'm going to pull it out like here so that there's a nice balance between the left and the right. For the text, I'm going to make it a lot smaller and then position it here on the right side of the slide. So that it's still visible and we have the room to work with for the content. I'm going to duplicate once more, pull out the second tab. Again, until there's about the same size on the left as the right and everything looks nicely balanced. Copy once more, pull out number three, copy final time and pull out number four. Now we have these nice pages where we can see the tabs pulling out every time. And now we're going to add the animation. And for that, we're going, if you don't have this open, you can do show pages, select the different slides that you want. And then we hover in between the slides and add transition. Here we want to choose match and move and increase the duration to, I'm going to say 1.5 or 1.6 seconds. Apply between all pages and then click on the first one and preview. And this is how you can create this really cool animated steps presentation where if you click, one of the tabs will pull out and click once more and the second tab will pull out and on the third click the third one and eventually the fourth one. You can customize it however you like and add your own content, but I think this is a really cool way of presenting. Thanks a lot for watching and if you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to watch the video on the screen right now.